Walking through New England's forests, we see evidence of fungi everywhere. Mushrooms of all types erupt from the forest floor or form shelf-like growths on the bark of trees. Forest fungi can also take on an extraordinary variety of less familiar forms. Much fungal growth may not be seen, either because it is microscopic or because it is out of sight, inside wood or leaf litter, even in the ground beneath our feet. Fungi are not plants. They do not photosynthesize, but must find food like animals do. Fungi belong to a kingdom of life all their own, distinct from animals, plants, and bacteria. More than 70,000 species have been described, but there are estimated to be more than 1.5 million on Earth. All large fungi, called macrofungi, are composed of distinctive branching tissues called hyphae, and their cell walls contain chitin, not the cellulose found in plants. Mushrooms are the fruiting bodies of many macrofungi. Within their gills are millions of tiny reproductive cells, or spores, that are easily dispersed by the wind. When spores find suitable habitat, they germinate and slender hyphae emerge. Absorbing nutrients and moisture directly from their surroundings, the hyphae grow into a larger colony, called a mycelium. Huge networks of mycelia permeate soil, leaf litter, and decaying wood. Mushrooms and other macrofungi make up only part of the fungal community of the forest. A diversity of microfungi, including molds, rusts, and yeasts, thrive on or within every substrate in the forest. Like larger fungi, they have chitinous cell walls, and most have structures formed from hyphae. A few, like yeasts, live as single cells.